Welcome to Today of All Days, Episode 17. Suck it up. Today is Thursday, June 8, 2017, and today we're going a little bit more global, mm. because today is World, World Oceans, Oceans Day. Day. The United Nations Environment Program established in 2006 that every square mile of ocean contains 46,000 pieces of floating plastic. So World Oceans Day is about making your ocean a little bit cleaner, doing your part, and trying to make the world a little bit better by not leaving so much junk around. So you could do anything from throwing your piece of plastic or trash in the actual garbage bin, or in a recycling bin, definitely not in the ocean, or going out to the ocean and trying to work with a team that's going to go out and help clean up the plastic that's already in the ocean. Plastic and debris can travel and collect in centralized locations due to the ocean's currents. This is called a gyre. There are currently five gyres in the ocean today. Most people only know about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is also called the North Pacific Gyre. It occupies a relatively stationary area that's twice the size of Texas. Jesus. That's huge. And everything's bigger in Texas, so I can only imagine how it's massive this big. thing is. Waste material from across the North Pacific Ocean, including coastal waters off of North America and Japan, are drawn to this gyre. You could literally start forming your own land masses. Just go out there with a the blowtorch, melt it till it just creates a solid shelf. Start building businesses on it. Hey, China just built the world's largest floating solar panel farm. Maybe the United States or Japan could work together to utilize the gyres to make solar farms. But that brings us to... Today in History. Do, 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 do. Ives W. McGaffey of Chicago patents first vacuum cleaner in 1869. I can't even imagine a world without a vacuum cleaner today. And it was called the Whirlwind, the world's first sweeping machine. Hey, that's pretty catchy. Hey, what's that, Mrs. Johnson? I love this old thing. This is just my Whirlwind. Oh, is that the world's first sweeping machine? It sure is. Let me tell you how it works. This world's first sweeping machine not only sweeps your ropes, but this hand crank is attached to a belt that turns a fan that actually moves the air down by the brush so that you can sweep and suck at the same time. And how. This was the only machine of its kind until 1901 when a British inventor by the name of Hubert Cecil Booth patented his own vacuum, a horse-drawn carriage with hose attachments that were fed through the windows to clean the residences or businesses. So they would have these huge hoses with a horse outside, like, I don't know, did they just have it like on a little, uh, like a treadmill? Just like pumping this, this motor, dangling a carrot in front of him. Yeah! Yeah! Get going. <laughs> the horses might have just been to transport the thing from location oh, to location. Oh, okay, that would make more sense. And next on our list is Best, Best Friends, Friends Day. Day. To commemorate this day. Go out with your best friend. If you have more than one, then you're lying to yourself. You need to cut off the fluff. There's some excess around you, and you need to narrow it down to just your one best friend. You know, I don't actually think that it's possible to have more than, like, two really, really close friends. The friends that you will actually have a heart-to-heart -heart with, and you'll actually go beyond that comfort wall that you normally let other people see. I believe there were a couple studies recently where they looked into the number of friends an individual has and how many of those are actually those close, intimate relationships mm. compared to the rest of them, which are usually more superficial. You might hang out and have those more casual friends. I also feel like having a best friend is something that's very important because it's not like Mother's Day and it's not like Brother's Day or Father's Day or Siblings Day because those people have to. 
they can't not be your family. Genetically, that's just how it is. But your best friend chooses to be there. And I think that that's really what makes a best friend special. And what makes this day kind of set apart from the other ones. Because it's like, they choose to be there. They choose to invest their time into your life. So, today is just a day to honor that. And to respect that. And to go do something. And more than likely, just enjoy what you guys already do. Which is hang out, spend time together, and enjoy being best friends. For now, grab your friend, head out to your favorite spot, or... Go experience something new together. Maybe go out to the beach and clean up while you're playing volleyball. And even if you're having a busy, busy day today, just try to take time out for a phone call or maybe a Skype. And on this day, today of all days, we will do our best to celebrate and to pitch in where we can throughout the day. And we encourage you to do the same. And throughout the day, Leave a comment and let us know how things are going for you. Do you have a lot of best friends or do you have just the one? Have you ever participated in any conservation efforts in the ocean or in other areas in nature? We want to know. Do you own a vacuum cleaner? Have you used it today? And on that, we will leave you for today. Have a great day. Get out there and do something challenging, thought-provoking, or just downright relaxing. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.